Uh, you can't see anything. There are too many fingerprints on the screen here. But we are installing software update 2019 50.5. That's the newest. It just came through. And I parked the car here on the highway just to install the update now. Well, that's probably not the best idea because the air condition has turned off for a couple of minutes now. And we have about 55 degrees in here now. <laughs> uh, so we are now at 60%. Come on. Come on, it's getting warm. Yeah, well, this is a bit disappointing. I've installed this software now and we have driven um, uh, probably 40 kilometers on the new software and um, it doesn't show me any traffic lights or stop signs or garbage bins or something what I've seen on the internet so far, but maybe because I don't have full self-driving. So I'm not sure about that. And what I found also is the driving, the regen braking is super weak now. It is not as strong as before anymore and I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure about that. I checked it on our way and it's sitting on standard. So there's nothing wrong with it. But if you take your foot off, it takes a long time. It, it regens a lot less. So braking stop power is not as, as strong anymore as before. I don't like this either. Yeah, well, we keep uh, trying to make sense out of it. Maybe I have to shut down the whole car for a moment and see if this makes a difference. <laughs> Okay, so I locked up the car for a moment. Now let's get back in and see if this makes a difference at all. I doubt it does. I see this hybrid parking here and charging. One, two, three, four, eight spots they have. There she be. Oh, it's Done. charging, huh? Yes, right. Just before here. Yeah. How, how, is, how is your electric vehicle going? Uh, it's going magnificent. Yeah, are you charging here as well? No, no. no, no. <laughs> On we the fast charger? We've got only our own little charger. Oh, the right, room. yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's no, good. We're onto it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> cool, good. thank you. No, excellent. Thank you very much for your help. <laughs> Talking about all these updates on the car, I give you an update on the shine armor situation of the car as well. I'm just going to wash it and see if there's any difference to before. Hey guys, I just want to show you that. So remember the driver's side, the right one here is treated, the other one is not treated. Yeah, you can see the difference here. The um, the area in the front here, which is not treated, the water is more sticking to the glass, while here it builds more these puddles. Front as well. This one sticks more to the paint. This one is building these water drops. So it's definitely protecting. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it again here in this example. Left side is treated, right side is not treated. It's much harder to get the bugs off the left side than on the right side. So there is some truth in it saying it's easier to clean after application. So you have to rub really hard here to get this all off, while on the other side is already gone. And you also can feel the, the actual microfiber sponge here is moving easier on this side than on this side. You can feel it really on the bonnet here, easier 
it's a bit harder to move here. So definitely there is something to it. Well, I had some, I had some yellow stuff on this side here. I think it's from gum trees or so and the same on the other side and I could hardly get it off here but here I just wiped and it came off so there's definitely some protection happening. I've applied I've applied Shine Armor two weeks ago and this is the first wash after the application. Um, I'll keep you informed how it performs in the future. See the windscreen? Treated, not treated. This one is already dry, this one not. This screen sucker is the best drying towel I ever had for a car. It's unbelievable. It is so good. Look at this, dry. So wet, dry. One wipe gone and it sucks a lot there's white paint splatter on the plastic from the repair shop and here on the plastic too there's more I couldn't find any difference while drying the car between the treated and non-treated side so there's no difference. Oh, it is a bit smoother on this side. Yeah, a little bit. But you can't feel a difference. You wouldn't know. But this one is a bit smoother. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. But um, still, the um, treatment works still on the driver's side. So the paint seems to be still protected from dirt and potentially damage. Okay, we just keep an eye on this for the next couple of weeks and months and see how long this actually lasts. So if you haven't seen the other video yet, uh, the car has been protected with Shine Armor 40 Quick Coat. And I did only the driver's side, so the right hand has been treated with Shine Armor 40 Quick Coat. Uh, video is following. Close charging screen. Show rear camera. Show camera. Turn on camera. Turn off fan. Lower temperature. Split temperature. Make it warmer. Open navigation menu. Open autopilot menu. Open glove box. <laughs> well, as you could just see, many of the voice commands are not supported, not understood. I don't know. This whole... So when we have a look at the release notes, oh, I need to turn off... Uh, I need to turn this in day mode, otherwise you can't read anything. <clears throat> voice commands. Play the Beatles. Okay, I haven't tried that yet. Show me the rear camera. Show me the rear camera. Command not understood. 
it's here as an example okay let's try the other one open autopilot settings command not understood is it my accent show me the rear camera command understood i think that was pretty good let's go to work yeah, drive think... west on john drive for one ah. point three kilometers yeah it does that cancel navigation it does this as well. Okay, navigation seems to be fine. Turn off traffic. Oh, huh, okay. So the support for the navigation seems to be seems to work much better than everything else. Well, after all the 40 40 after all the 40 the 2019.40.50.5 was not what I was expecting. I was expecting Traffic lights turning up, stop signs turning up, garbage bins showing up on the screen here, but nothing of that happened at all. This is not the update where we have increased driver visual visualization support. This update was the adjacent. Adject it basically adapts your speed more to the speed in your neighbor lane. And I actually have seen these errors on the highway near Ipswich here when we merged onto the Ipswich motorway and the traffic was a little bit slower and I was faster on the merging lane, but I wasn't in autopilot, so it didn't do anything to the car um, apart from showing me the lines. So. And once the computer will navigate the car from one motorway onto another highway and then this feature comes in handy, it does it automatically. Yeah, well, uh, this all voice commands, they seem to work just fine in the navigation system, but everything else apart from opening the glove box and lowering or increasing or temperatures um, does not work for me. I haven't, I haven't used any. Adjust my right mirror. Oh, okay, this works as well. All right. Set the temperature to 20. Enabling climate control, but it doesn't do anything here. Maybe it just works. Set the temperature to 70. No, doesn't do anything. Set fan speed to 5. Oh yeah, that works. <laughs> okay. Set fan speed to 1. Uh, it's not enabled yet. Okay, so it looks like some of the voice controls are not enabled yet for some reason. I don't have these text matrices in here. Uh, if I go back to my call box. So I don't have any of these phone improvements like reading or responding to text messages. Then on the other hand, you know, text messages, who is sending text messages these days? Really, everyone is using social media apps like Messenger, WhatsApp. I don't receive many text messages anymore. Everything is over social media apps these days. So I'm not sure what this is good for, but apparently um, some people are still texting. Then we've got the camp mode. Yeah, I've seen that. Ah, yeah. Off on dog mode and camp mode we have now. Okay, if you want to camp in your Model 3, um, you can do this right now. Ah, yeah, we've got Twitch now on the Model 3. That's a terrible... So, yeah, if you are into Twitch, um, you can Twitch now on your Model 3. And then we've got Stardew Valley and Backgammon as additional games now. Voice keyboard, you can now use dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to input text via voice control. And then we've got tracks 0.1. I don't know where that is. Where's tracks? Is this on the toy box now? Ah, it's in here. Tracks.
Well, this is now your music creation synthesizer fancy app here. Uh, you can load and save. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, all right. <laughs> yeah, if you are into these kind of things, you have got it now in the Model 3. <laughs> well, I don't think many people will use that, but maybe I'm wrong. And we now have the save dash cap clips on Honk. I have already enabled this one here. I think this is a good feature. So whenever there's a whenever there's a traffic situation now you just and you honk, it will automatically save your dash cam into the um, secure folder. So it keeps this moment for you to rewatch later. Well, all in total, uh, I was expecting the driver visualization update as we have seen on some other videos from the US but apparently this is only available in the US and only for premium or selected customers at the moment probably they are still testing it early adopters you know which is not a bad thing to do and I, I can't believe we stopped on the highway this morning for 25 minutes to install this bloody update I would just wanted to show my son actually what this update can do and how the traffic lights look like and stop lights and everything. And then there was nothing afterwards. It it didn't change anything in, in the car, really. There's only, apart from this safe video clips on Honk, everything else is the same. Well, rather a disappointing update here in Australia, I would say. <laughs> yeah, and for the last two days, I have now the satellite view here and the navigation and also the, and I can also turn on the traffic notifications here as well which was not there before so this is a nice feature update but it will be only for a limited time people think it will be here for about 30 days and then you have to pay for it the subscription for premium connectivity um, is coming anyway in the US already the first cars have passed the four-year uh, threshold so uh, Tesla paid for the whole service for the first four years. In Australia, it's only for one year and only if you have premium connectivity. Afterwards, if you want to continue using this, uh, you have to pay. This is like the satellite, this is like the satellite view, the traffic, the live traffic view here, and also streaming services over LTE, like, like your Netflix, your YouTube, your Twitch, and your internet radio, like um, Spotify and TuneIn now. This is all included in the premium connectivity package, and it will most likely cost about $15 Australian here in Australia. Yeah, well, we just uh, wait for the next update and see if we get the traffic visualization for the drivers here then at least and then I have to make a decision if I'm going to buy full self-driving or not but we will discuss this in a future video maybe I do a live chat for that actually I need your feedback for that all right guys as always thanks for watching stay charged and we will see us again in the next video bye bye and then you probably wonder why you see me here sitting in the car at home and then there will be another video from the holiday still. Then there's another video from and I'm jumping back and forward between these two. I did some videos during my holiday as well and obviously and I haven't got any equipment with me to edit these footage over there. So I'm doing this right now. But I just want to post this video here uh, in regards to the update and it doesn't make sense to post this at, in two weeks time because then the update will be old and there might be already a new update for that. So I post this in between the holiday videos just to be up to date with everything and show you what the new update can do and cannot do. And that's why everything is a little bit confusing and back and forward and left and right. But very soon we will be in the correct order again and I post only videos which are making sense then. So just excuse this mess at the moment. It doesn't turn off the sound. How do you make it stop? You can't adjust the volume, nothing. Just, just get out of here. Just get out.